we have the most beautiful children. We do. And grandchildren. This is Grandma, and I'm Nanny. Explain the story, ladies. Well, about 30 years uh, ago, you, you start. Yeah. Yeah, 30 years ago. It was 20 years ago today. I was invited. <laughs> I was invited to a charity event and, and I decided to go, not knowing really what it was about. But the next day uh, or that afternoon perhaps, I was sitting with Maria Kessel. Me. That's me. And uh, that's her. And quiet on the set. <laughs> uh, really? Quiet on the set. Quiet on the set. We have so many stories to tell. Mr. Grumpy is back. There. <laughs> <laughs> so we were sitting at the Four Seasons right. Hotel in Palm Beach. Uh, in Palm Beach and looking over this unbelievable, beautiful day of sailboats. And, and I said, uh, isn't that beautiful and, and you guys did not know each other no not it was the really. first time we met we, we just, did some work uh your vitamins we were i i knew you through steve a friend of ours right yes and we did some work together but we had never met each other and this was but you knew who michelle phillips of course of was. course the legend we were the legend and i was in the <laughs> um print media so of course we knew each other that way but um <laughs> but Fast forward to that summer, we had a home in Maine, because Florida gets very hot in the summer. No, I have to finish my story. Oh, oh okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we do so, that. Um, we're all sitting out on the veranda of the Four Seasons Hotel, and I said, isn't that beautiful? And she says, what? And I said, you know, all those beautiful sailboats, in the bay and she says you like to oh, sail no, no. i said well my yeah <laughs> she says get her a sailboat <laughs> <laughs> i just wanted to please her <laughs> even and back the next then. day we were on cronkite's walter cronkite's boat walter yeah. cronkite it wasn't boat. it wasn't gary hart's boat thank god <laughs> monkey business no it wasn't that and off yeah. we were in, into the wild into blue the bay and yeah. it was so wonderful and we have become friends for decades and decades and family and family so the next summer michelle came to visit us in maine that following summer mm -hmm. and um we're talking you know in the nine early 90s and who does she bring but uh her sons your no first you excuse me Oh, I did she not bring Austin and Aaron, but, but her husband, Carrie, said, where are the boys? Yes, he was, because I have girls, so he was, and he wanted boys. I said, well, I didn't bring the boys, I just came by myself. He said, well, get me the travel agent. And the next thing I knew, he had bought tickets for the boys to come the next day. Yeah. They traveled all by themselves? How old were they? They were 12 and 13. Wow. Yeah. And or 13 uh, and 14, and, and, something like that. No, 12, 12 and 13, 13 at the oh, she always has to be right. I just want to point that. Out. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so, um the next day the boys arrived and uh, Carrie had two jet skis and three ATVs. Know. Yeah, she's right. He had right. the ATVs. Yeah. They had 32 acres. And we had horses. And we had a big RV that was 45 feet. And Michelle <laughs> goes, where do you suppose that we should put the boys? Because you've got two girls and me. And Carrie said, how about the RV? So go ahead. <laughs> hey, These guys lived the life of of Riley Riley thank and, you <laughs> and I'm gonna finish her so guess what now okay so my daughter Lois who is, is okay was 10 yeah. and the boys were 13 12 and 13 uh -huh. okay that was in the early 94 something like that mm -hmm. okay they didn't interact no that not much. at all she was no, she was like little. the boys because oh my gosh they're 
very, they, they very had annoying. No interest. They had no. She interest goes. In I'd rather just all. play, stay with Michelle. You were cooking um, in the kitchen. You had just. Well, brought, she wanted. Had Lois, the oldest one, uh, wanted to learn how to cook. Right. And so that's what we did. We cooked. I was thrilled every day. And <laughs> Lois just. Oh. God, love. As it. long as it wasn't my cooking, she was thrilled. And <laughs> Michelle's cooking is pretty amazing. So she was thrilled. So that was that. And then we kept in touch over the years. And um, Lois had an interview probably five or six years ago uh, in L.A. So I, with, no, with but um, before that, she wanted me to send a letter to the college. Oh, that's right. Boy, you have a, such a good memory. Um, yes, Michelle was a, uh, she was, you, you sent a letter as a reference stating, you know, what a fine girl Ms. Yeah. Uh, Lois was. And, yeah. um, you know, just all through our, our life, we've been connected. And um, most of it through charity events. And I have to say, you've been so wonderful. Um, and we... She's my little darling. She's your little darling. <laughs> and, and so now we can get so, to... Yeah. Then, I called you um, saying she had an interview. And she said he, she had an interview with Hallmark. Coming from New York. So she was coming from New York and leaving the same day. So it was a red eye. And I said, oh, my mm -hmm. God, call. let me call Auntie Michelle. She, 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 she'll take you out to lunch or something because you've got like yeah. six hours between your flights. So, so um, I made a reservation at Pastina, my favorite restaurant. And... Um, we were going to meet at like one o'clock or something. And, and as I was leaving the house, I said, I should have invited Austin to come and join us. And Austin is your son. Uh, just, just to clarify. Okay. Austin's my son. And did you say to Austin, by the way, it's Lois. You haven't seen her since you were, I'm just wondering. And, and, and yeah, no, I did. And he said, yeah, I kind of remember her. <laughs> she was 10. Yeah. He had no interest in her when she was yeah. 10. Nor <clears throat> her with him when he was 12. So. Right. So I said, well, listen, I, I went, I, I was walking out to the house and, to get into the car. And then I walked back and I called him and I said, you know, I'm taking Lois Castle. Remember Lois Castle? He says, mm, kind of. <laughs> I said, good, okay. I'm taking you to lunch, and if you want to join us, uh, we're going to lunch. He says, when? And I said, now. He said, okay, I'm there. And we had a lovely lunch. And then I left them standing in the parking lot talking to each other. Because Lois had a few hours still before she needed to get to the uh -huh. airport. Right. But I didn't know that. No. And it it didn't even, nothing occurred to me. It, you know, it's like, yeah, good, okay, goodbye. And so, now this, this was in hard August. Me. I took Austin to Venice, Italy for his Christmas present. Meanwhile, Lois had moved there. To LA? To LA in October. Yeah. And none of us, neither of us, no, he really said, how's it know. going? Are you still keeping in touch? You know, that type of no. thing. Right. I, I, I had no idea that they were keeping in touch. And uh, when we were in Venice at about 11.30 at night, we got a call. He got a call on his phone and I, he picked it up and he said hello. And a distinctive voice came on. And I said, oh, my word, <laughs> that is Lois. And I thought, how could this happen? How could, <laughs> how could he keep this from me all this time? He said, mother, I'm taking this in the other room. <laughs> and off he went. And I thought, oh, oh God, how beautiful this would be. And when was this, Michelle? This was what I'm losing track of time. Five years ago, six years ago, seven years, seven ago. years ago. So in a minute, you're going to have to. The, our director is going to have to turn around and, you know, show the results. So anyway, now, three, 
three years ago, three years ago, over three years ago, oh. our children were married. No. Oh. <laughs> and almost a year ago, we had a little, a baby, little baby boy. boy. We. It's like we had the boy. I'm it's nanny. It's our baby. Yeah. We may baby, baby nap him. Aiden. Aiden. She's grandma and I'm nanny. Okay, so now we're going to give them instant gratification. All right. So now that you got the backstory. <laughs> Say hello, dear. And I am the proud auntie of Aiden. Are you a California baby? Are you a California baby? Can you marry to auntie? auntie? Come give us some California preaching love. Yes, sir. This is his first episodic. <laughs> What's your episodic rate? What am I going to have to pay you for this? Oh my goodness. <laughs> and this is Mama Lois, who I don't think Hi. wants to be on camera. <laughs> yeah, wait, I just have to say before we end this that she just said to me that she's the one who taught him how to wave. Oh, to do Mom, the California preaching, dream, and wave. And but it like, does do you look understand very that? Do you understand that's every best friend's dream that their kids will get married and have babies together? Oh, you can't even imagine it. You can't imagine it. it comes, and we're best friends. It, uh, we are such good friends. Yeah, we and, have always been best friends. <laughs> and, 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 and She's and saying friends. good, you're saying best. I know, wait a second. <laughs> My word's better than yours. No, right. we're, you said we're good friends, but I said we're best friends. <laughs> we're best friends. We're BFFs. Yeah. And you know, it's just amazing when something so beautiful happens in, in two life. In two yeah, families. and with all the, the sadness and you know, with life, with life and all the sadness and all the ups and downs in life, this has been pure up all the way with our families together, with both of our families. And we're talking about husbands and my husband and, and Billy, Mr. Yeah. AKA Mr. Grumpy. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, um, and Michelle and I and China and myself, and we're just all and there's been so many connections from New York mm. and from here. And our mothers, my mother and Michelle are dear friends. It's just incredible. Yeah. And it's beautiful. We're so lucky. We're lucky. We're very, 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 very Today's lucky. Today's a beautiful day. And yeah. we thank, I thank God for it. Yeah. I do. How too. many times have you both been married? <laughs> are you sure that's not, is that correct? Is that a two or a three? That's a three. A three. So who were your three husbands, mom? Uh, John Phillips for 10 years. Dennis did you ever Hopper, have children with John? Dennis Hopper for eight days. Did you have children with John? I did. I had you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And, and then Dennis Hopper for eight days. And then we'll skip over that one. That doesn't yeah, count. Skip it. No. And then I was married to the wonderful Bob Birch. Yes. We loved Bob. For, he was very um, funny. A year and a half. And... It just wasn't meant to be, but I adore him, and and we have a very good relationship. And then you were common law with Stephen, I think, right? For twenty years, right? Uh, common law. Common law. Anything with after seven Stephen, years. Uh, was seventeen years, but I, but that's not common law in the state of California. So mm -hmm. we were partners for seventeen, almost seventeen years. Mm -hmm. But before that. I was with Jeff Tozer for uh, 12 years. Mm -hmm. Hey, so, Mom, did you know that it was Cass's birthday last week? Yes. Do you always remember her birthday? No. You sometimes forget? Yeah. How did I you did. know this year? You told me. Oh, I told you. <laughs> I did? Yeah. But I love her. I told her too, brother. <laughs> Anyway, I've been talking once. about best friends. She was definitely one of your besties, Cass, right? Yeah, she was. Did she make you laugh, Did Mom? Did she make you laugh? Oh, she was the funniest woman I have ever known before or since. Like the kind of like laughter where you're doubled over and you can't breathe kind of laughter? Well, because everything that came up 
everything that she said or anything that happened was funny to her. Really? And uh, she And had, she just knew how to turn everything into something hilarious. Yeah. And that's a gift. That is a true gift. Sure that's a true gift. And did everybody get her sense of humor? Like John got it, everybody Danny? Everybody got You could not not get her sense of humor. Right. Because she was funny as hell. Do you have a funny John Phillips story you could tell? No. Do you have a funny Warren Beatty story you could tell? <laughs> Didn't he use a voodoo doll on you once? Or you used one yeah, on him? I used the voodoo doll on him. Well, tell us that story. <laughs> what did you do to Warren Beatty? Why would you use a voodoo doll on Warren? He told Why me not? he was having headaches, <laughs> terrible headaches, when he was so disrespectful to me, so horrible. So I got out the voodoo dolls that I had, and I put needles in their Who heads. Who has voodoo dolls? You do. You just well, pulled out voodoo dolls? Oh, you went to Haiti and bought no. voodoo dolls? <laughs> you went to Haiti with me. I remember. And I brought back the voodoo dolls. And, and when I realized that he was just so mean, and I started putting needles in his needles head. Needles in his head. <laughs> <laughs> Until first... one day he called me and he said, I'm having the worst headaches. I can't stand it. I can't stand it. I'm having the worst headaches. And I felt terrible. And I ran. And I, I and I pulled the needles out. Of the, the voodoo dolls. I mean, they were in there for how long? I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 thought, I thought the voodoo doll was, the, the beginning of the story, was to help him with his headaches. Was no. To, like acupressure. I didn't no, realize no. you gave it to them. to give it to them. Oh, oh boy. Yeah, there's but, another side to her. But, you know, he, he did tell me the next day that he felt a whole lot better. Did you tell him it was because you took the needles out of the voodoo Absolutely doll's head? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> Can't give away all of your secrets now. Oh, that's a great story. Was he romantic? Oh God, yes. When he wanted to be, he um, he took advantage of that charm. Mm -hmm. that I loved him very, very much, and I really thought we were going to get married. Would you have had more kids with him? Yes, without a doubt. But that's not what happened. Yeah. Well, I'm glad you had Austin with Granger. I had Austin with Granger. She had my son-in-law. Yeah. So it, it all worked out. It was at the right time. It was the perfect time. I asked Granger, his father, if he wanted to have a baby with me. And he said, I would love to have a baby with you. And... Uh, and when was this? How old is Austin? 30... 37. Yeah. So this was about 36 years ago. 38. No. <laughs> if he's 37, then it was 38 so, years so, ago. No. Because you had to have him for 90. 37 when I asked... Oh, okay. Granger right. if he wanted to have a baby. All right. I'm not sure about that. And he said, yeah, I... I would love to have a baby with you. And we have, um, we have. What's going on here? This is my brother. I don't know. She my bro. I don't think I'm oh, why? bro. Austin. Making an appearance on our, Cal Preach. Why is I'm our life exit stage left. on display because for everybody to see because we're bringing everyone closer to jesus <laughs> bringing everyone closer to the lord no mama lom yeah. you got to come back what are you doing mama lom oh mama, mama lom, lom, come, come back, back. well yeah you were you so were, guys this is my brother star. austin i'm not gonna be here for very long I'm okay just, here just tell wonder. us tell us a joke or tell us like your best right, memory of right. mom i've got i've got jokes for you all right, so. But it's short jokes. They're all very short. All right, so what state is a big joke? Big joke. I mean, this state is so big. 
China. You have to be. Uh, okay, which what is it? Wait, start saying. What what state? Ha! Y E. <laughs> See, it's a big joke. Hawaii. It's funny. It's hot. Hawaii. Hawaii. What state is gambling legal? I don't know. What Nevada. <laughs> So this is kind of off subject, but do you remember the day you found out you were pregnant with Austin or no? <laughs> no, but I remember the day I was pregnant with you. Really? Monterey Pop? Monterey Pop. We had just finished performing Monterey Pop and I was crying my eyes out and I cried and I cried and I cried and I cried. And finally I said, all right, Michelle, maybe you did not do a great performance, but what are you crying about so much? And then when we got off the stage, I started realizing that that my response to the performance was out of line. And then I started counting the weeks and I started counting the days. And right there at the back of the Monterey Pop Festival offices, I thought, oh, my word, I'm gonna have a baby. And it was a, one of the happiest days of my life. And then did you get that confirmed like a week later or two days no. later? Yes, the next day. The next I day? I flew the next day into Los Angeles and I uh, went to see Dr. Crone and he said, well, the rabbit died. What's that mean? It meant the rabbit died. What? It meant I was pregnant. That's what it meant? The mm -hmm. rabbit died? I don't even know. Why did they use that term? I don't know. You have no idea? It was 1965 <laughs> or 60. The rabbit when were you died. Born? 1968. 1968. It was 1967. That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's. And was dad happy that you were pregnant? Was John happy? Yeah. I think. Because that would have been his third child. I don't think he was ecstatic. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm, I have no judgment. So, <laughs> but he was supportive of it. There was nothing that he was going to do about it. I wasn't going to get an abortion. Right. So. Um, I was happy as. Did you me. like being pregnant or were you nauseous? Um, I don't remember being nauseous. Wait, I wait, just remember are you leaving being us? Being very happy and very I'm just happy. Go. Yeah, I'm just gonna step so, out. But it's been we great. love Get you. It's been here. great being on California preaching. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Wish love all you, brother. You guys the best. I watched Keep you being real. born, by the way. I love you, sister. You are a great person, and I just am so happy for you. And I love you. Thank I'm you. Happy that you're here. And putting a camera right in my face. Yeah. <laughs> California preaching. Let's do it. Let's do it. So you, um, you had me and you were living in Bel Air, obviously, and you were with John and you found, I know you thought it was a very lonely time, right? Those first few months. It probably was. Yeah. Yeah. In that big old mansion all by yourself, breastfeeding. I only breastfed you for 12 weeks, uh, 12 weeks. That's a pretty long time, I mean. And then I got the flu and they had to give me antibiotics and they told me I couldn't breastfeed anymore, so. Yeah. There you were on the bottle and boy, were you happy. <laughs> I was happy on that bottle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I just love you so much and you're the best mom ever. They love you so much. I love you too. Bye for now. California preaching over and out.